News. We are following for you right here on Live Now from Fox. I want to go out to Michigan right now. You're taking a live look right here of a fire that's happening at a country club building right now. This is all happening in Bloomfield Township right now where uh, the uh, Township Fire Departments and Southfield Fire Departments have been called to this massive fire at the Oakland Hills Country Club this morning, according uh, to uh, what we are seeing right here. So you can see from the roof there, you got the smoke that continues to be uh, coming out there. And uh, you got firefighters there on the scene as the call for this massive fire came around 10 o'clock local time right there. So about 90 minutes ago, a spokesperson from the Bloomfield Township Fire Department told Fox 2 that every single firefighter from the department is on the scene. A short time later, the Southfield Fire Department was called in for mutual aid as well. It's unknown how the fire has started or if uh, anybody was hurt here. And you can see we got a roving camera right there as this photographer getting different uh, shots right here. This is what we do here. Give me these live raw feeds that are coming in right here on Live Now from Fox. Um, the Oakland Hills Country Club is one of the most prestigious courses in Michigan and, and has hosted the six U.S. Open championships, three PGA championships, and the 2004 Ryder Cup. It was originally founded back in 1916. It has played a significant role in history of the sport of golf in the United States here. The country club sits on Maple Road between Lasher and Telegraph and consists of two courses, the north and south course here. Here's a better view now that we are able to see, as you could see that flames ripping through the roof there of the country club so such a historic place here in this township and not only uh, for this township but really for the golf community not only in Michigan but across the country right here and you are taking a look now of uh, firefighters continuing to battle this uh, raging fire at the country club and it's unfortunate because uh, it will be a loss here for so many memories and uh, really uh, for the town as well. Construction started in 1917 after the two Ford executives bought farmland on Maple Road. The south course of Oakland Hills opened first in 1918 and the clubhouse was then finished back in August of 1922. That same year construction started on the north course and was finished two years later. There's a little bit of history uh, right there as we continue to show you right here on Live Now from Fox. If you're just joining us here, uh, we are taking in these live pictures right now coming out of the Oakland Hills Country Club fire. Unknown right now if there are any injuries associated with this, any firefighters injured. We don't have those details for you at this moment, but very fluid right now as it's still going on. It's been going on for the last 90 minutes. Cruz has the uh, several ladder trucks right there that continue to try to fight this fire and get these flames out, but you're still seeing them rip through right here on Live Now from Vox. A little bit more history uh, of this uh, golf club. The first major tournament was the Western Open back in 1922, followed by the U.S. Open in 1924. Golf legends including Gary Player, Arnold Palmer, and Jack Nicola Nicholas have all played and won various tournaments. The club just finished a complete renovation of the South Course in July of 2021 with hopes of being considered for a future U.S. Open or PGA Championship. It has last hosted a major event back in 2008, the PGA Championship, but also hosted the U.S. Amateur back in 2016. There's a zoomed in shot now that we're able to get to you right here on Live Now from Fox as uh, it continues to rip right now. We have this major fire happening at the Country Club at Oakland Hills Golf Course. Hoping for the very best for all the firefighters there on the scene as well and everybody uh, that's associated with this golf club hopefully they were all able to get out of the main building there at the country club just to reiterate everyone the bloomfield township fire department and southfield are on the scene 
right now. The call for this massive fire came about 10 a.m. local time. And a spokesperson for the Bloomfield Township Fire Department told Fox 2 that every single firefighter from the department is on the scene. We're seeing a little bit more white smoke come up. That's a good sign right there in firefighting practices. But uh, the flames, flames continue to persist right here. This is exactly what we do here on Live Now from Fox, bringing you uh, the breaking news coverage as these feeds come in from around the country. Uh, when, once we get them and once we are notified of them, we try to go to it as soon as we can here for you and give you all the pictures that come in live through our news studio and pump it right out to you. You can watch on LiveNowFox.com and so many other places. Come and check that out. Of Fox 2 in Detroit of this breaking news. Fighting this blaze as we speak. And uh, as of now, really, it's just a matter of mobilizing as many fire crews as possible to try to get the blaze under control. It's my understanding that this is just one large building and that the fire is located in the clubhouse. And uh, to my knowledge, it has not spread to other buildings. Uh, we also are learning at this point that the fire started just about an hour ago. And right now, as I mentioned, we're waiting on updates from fire officials. That, of course, the information I got coming from police because the support around here is from police keeping things uh, blocked off in all directions leading up to the club and, of course, providing support for firefighters. But all the firefighters that we could speak to command is inside right now also actively fighting that fire. Hillary, how well, was your trip out township. there? We, we know that, you know, there are roads closed. As you mentioned, you had to walk quite a long ways just to get to the, the clubhouse there. Um, what was your experience getting out there? We know there's a lot of smoke. Um, how was that? Yeah, fine. I mean, the, the smoke is really uh, concentrated here. I actually can't even smell the smoke, believe it or not, where I'm standing. Um, I, I'd have to ask my photographer if he has that same experience, but it, it's pretty well isolated. And I think also Michael may have touched on some of this, depending on which wind direction where the smoke is headed, that probably has some impact on whether or not it affects people who may have some kind of respiratory issues. But right here in this central location, which really no one should be except for emergency personnel and, of course, the fire crews who are bravely battling that blaze uh, it's it's actually okay so I think at this juncture because the fire started so recently what we really need to do is let fire crews and again even the brass that are in there fighting the fire do their job and I'm sure they'll have an update for for us as soon as they get that fire contained but it is indeed at this moment Amy very active yeah, those flames are really something. And Brandon, I know we just heard from Rick Palmer, who is the president out there at the, the golf club. And he said, you know, there are, it's a it's a freestanding structure. So nothing else is in danger. Uh, but he did say the damage. And as we can see behind you there, Hillary, just extensive. It really is. It really is. So the, the message to everyone is steer clear. There's no need to come into this area at all. Uh, you only endanger yourself and the personnel, not just uh, fire, but police and emergency services who are trying to keep the area clear and provide additional support. Huh? That's another thing I should mention, Amy. As I was coming down, there were a number of vehicles oh, I, I had to get away. It's icing right now. Uh, get off the road. As you know, things are starting to ice up and move out of the way so that I could let fire crews and additional support personnel pass by me. So the best advice is all the looky-loos who want to come, steer clear. It makes things safer for everybody. Yeah. Absolutely. All right. Great advice. Thank you so much, Hillary. Stay safe out there. Uh, we'll check in with you for more a little bit later. Live in Bloomfield Hills, we appreciate you. Be right back. That was Fox 2 coverage there, and we'll continue to check in on them of that breaking news there in uh, Michigan with that uh, famed uh, when you have famed uh, country club and famed golf course there. Live look right now. We'll, uh, once we get more updates, of course, we'll bring it to you right here on Live Now from Fox. Let's slide away for another quick two-minute break. You're watching Live Now from Fox.